Foothills Action Network Chief Meteorologist Chris White. I want to just bring you up to date on uh, what we're seeing across the area and how this afternoon is going to unfold. Here's the weather maker, uh, two fronts coming into the west, but here's our big weather maker, upper level low moving off to the northeast. It's going to drag through a cold front uh, across our area. A couple little troughs laying over the east of uh, still in, in the area. But here we'll zoom in closer and uh, take a look at exactly what we expect to unfold uh, with a few showers developing right around the one o'clock hour now. You kind of see the clouds increasing out there again, especially along the uh, mountains and just east into the western foothills. Uh, and then we've got some showers ongoing uh, down east of 77. We'll play this out and we'll take this out through about two o'clock. You can see showers uh, blossoming just about anywhere possible. Uh, but mainly along the eastern slopes and then down along the South Carolina border. Taking us out just a little bit further and you'll see pop-up showers and storms possible about any point this afternoon and they're not going to move a lot. Now here comes the front end between 6 and 7 o'clock with the showers and storms moving across uh, the foothills, the western foothills around 640 and then off to the east you can see there around 8 o'clock and then by 9 o'clock these are all east of our area and out of our hair so we won't have to worry about them lasting into the nighttime hours uh, again just pop up showers and storms through the day again we'll show you this uh, as we play it through a few areas don't even see any rain today uh, but there again i want you to be cognizant of the lightning uh, if you hear thunder remember when thunder roars go indoors uh, move indoors anytime you hear thunder there so that's a brief look at your afternoon and how it's going to go. I am Foothills Action Network Chief Meteorologist Chris White. Have a great evening.